Hello YouTube, and look what we're going to be playing today. Some good old Star Wars Republic at War. The, the, the latest version, we're still waiting for version, uh, they're still waiting for version 1.2, I think it is, to come out, but I absolutely love this mod. The detail and the gameplay are just astonishing. So, we're going to do a tiny map because uh, I'm, like, I'm not really up for anything too big. I'm going to bump that up a bit. And I guess I'll leave it here. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. I mean, there will be more parts. This will be debatable. Uh, uh, we get one that. <clears throat> so I had a video for Legacy of uh, my ready and uploading to YouTube, and I went to play it, and for some reason it was pure blank. So I'm going to re-record that one again later on, and uh, hopefully I'll record today, and it'll be up today. So, well, not today, but in the middle of the night, maybe. <laughs> or something. Eh, I'll figure it out. I always like turning these buttons on because they help me remember what's going on on my planet. Some people don't, some people do. I don't see why you kind of wouldn't, because they're kind of help. They're very, they're actually really helpful. So let's see what we got going for us. Two Venators and some Corvettes and all that good stuff. And uh, let's see. I usually put Obi Wan, Mace, and Anakin in the uh, same fleet. Crap. If you can hear the police sirens outside, uh, I am very sorry about that. But let's see. I usually kind of like fortifying these two worlds over here because R uh, Rothana is a is like the base of operations for us. We're going to be doing all of our attacks from Rothana mostly. Uh, capture Hoth because Hoth is Hoth, and it's a very bad plan in his mind, but you know. Uh, wait, wait, let's pause just for a hot second. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing the Outer Rim Siege, so I don't have a lot of the resource healthy worlds I normally get when I do a larger campaign. Uh, I want to build up a lot of these worlds out here, but they're going to get swarmed soon, and I, don't, I really don't want to waste resources doing this. Sorry if I sound funny, I think I kind of have a bit of a cold, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, let's see, I'm going to build one of those. Uh, hmm. Might as well get that going. And finally... Considerably, I want to build a shield generator, but we'll save it. We'll save up that for later. <laughs> now, as much as bad as episode one was <laughs> was judged, you gotta admit the N one is a very sleek and nice starfighter design. Let's build a squad. Ah, wait. Here you do. Okay, we're here. Here you do makes a lot of money from its uh, oil resources. Did I say oil resources? Yes, I did. Because a lot of worlds got the uh, mining system taken away, or if you're not familiar with this mod, in place of things like refineries. And refineries make a crap ton of money. Or in this case, uh, farms. Farms actually bring in money slightly and increase the health of all units. Oh. Well. I guess this is kind of an Easter egg, too, if you remember the... Um, Oil refineries for Star Wars Battlefront 2, you had to protect on Kashyyyk. You know, that really annoying mission. And they're adding refineries to Kashyyyk, so. Alright, everything's looking nice. Uh, let's see. But I really want to get Rothana ready because I'm going to start launching my campaigns from here. Alright. 
Master advice or advice from Master Yoda. I am not gonna send my fleet here yet because it's a level five space station, and we will get our uh, yeah, we will get our butt kicked like like full on handed to us. Uh, I hate to do this to these guys, but sacrifices for the cause of war. You gotta see what's going on over here. There are no scouting ships for the Republic. Uh, what's going on over here? One pro. Uh, hmm. If you're unaware, Providence cruisers are tough as ape. Uh, tough as ape shit to take down. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks for your sacrifice. Uh, you won't be remembered. Uh, like all clones are never remembered in the Clone Wars. So that means we cannot attack Mustafar. We might be able to attack Slevan. Uh, what worlds can we get to? Because we abandoned it over here. Alright, more sacrificing. Sacrifices. That's how the world runs. Okay, that's more logical. I like those odds better. So that means we're going to drag our fleet from here to here, which is kind of risky, but, you know. If we can conquer the surrounding worlds and leave them kind of, like, barren over here, we'll be in a bit of an advantage. So, let's get some vehicle factories going. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I'm really not sorry, but, you know. Rhodia is another world we could possibly go to. Oh, we can take our entire fleet there. We go to Rylo? Apparently we can go to Rylaw. Let's get all this actually what we And we need to start getting a research up, so let's start with building our tech facility. That's a lot of money and take a lot of time. Not looking forward to tech teching up or whatever the word for it would be. <laughs> they take so long. And, uh, let's build a dreadnought. Dreadnoughts are actually not bad in those mods. They get kind of their 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 shields and their armor get kind of taken down, sort of fast. But at the same time, they're very useful. Anti fighter defenses and whatnot. Let's see what's going on in the outer rim. Man, I just love this mod. I love the way it's designed. I love the way everything is placed. This is a really this is a grade A mod. And I award, I, I, I'm, I'm very pleased to, that the Republic team would allow anybody to play this. They put a lot of time and effort. Oh, Bonadan, that's right. Uh, build up some grunts. I'm going to send my troops all the way over to Bonadan because nothing else is there. And I think these red line, these multicolored lines represent like the trade routes and whatnot. I don't know, but I like them. Come on, come on, come on. Anytime today. Yes, it does speed it up, man. Alright, we have our nice little dreadnought. Let's build another. Alright, I'm kind of scared now because they're quiet. Anytime the AI is quiet in this mod, uh, I panic a little bit because that means they're probably up to something. I've actually never built this either, the super weapon. Why? I was too busy devoting resources to the fleet. Uh, did they make it to Arthur? Yes, they did. There are a lot of historic locations. I think Rax's Prime, yeah, Rax's Prime is here. If you don't remember that from the Clone Wars 2, or the Clone Wars video game and the Force Unleashed. Raxus is that really messed up junk world full of mystery. It has had a lot of shit go down on Raxus Prime. From a giant dark Sith super weapon or whatever to a great insane Jedi Master. We'll actually still feel kind of bad for, but you know, shit happens, bro. Uh, Alright, 
we're gonna we're gonna get these guys built up more. Let's see. Time to suicide more clone troopers. Move Yoda out of the way just in case the game is like, oh, Yoda's in space, so we'll involve him in the battle. Even though he's a stealth unit. Detention. A, what? A, a, oh, okay. Okay, that, that, that's, that's perfect. Let's get these guys rolling. That's... Okay, I didn't expect that. There's only a... Uh, Beneficent cruiser here. The, the levels of our space station thing, I am not worried about at all. Unless it's an elaborate trap laid down. Nope, it's not. We're going to take this planet now. <clears throat> so it's funny, is this mod full of its like vast detail and upgraded playing system? Ran perfect, almost perfectly on my old garbage laptop. And now it's slightly if you on my newer more advanced laptop and I I, I don't know I, I I gave up wait 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 uh, Obi-Wan Anakin makes her almost damn near invincible in space unless you like concentrate your all your firepower on them they are not going down and I like their custom clone trooper dude over here yes we want space so if anybody's kept up with the Clone Wars series Mace is the reason that Ahsoka practically left the Jedi Order and he, he's gotten a lot of good people killed Mace's life is I wouldn't want to live Mace's life his own personal clone trooper commander what was his name uh not I, I can't remember what it was but whatever his name was he got him killed or I mean, he didn't get him killed so to speak but he got killed it's like Mace, Mace just can't live a happy lifestyle in the Clone Wars he, he gets a lot of people dead or a lot of, of his people die. Or a lot of his people leave. So yeah, I, I wouldn't want to be Mace Windu. Even though I am black. <laughs> a black person doesn't want to be another black person. Let's see. Alright. I always like kind of broadsiding ships because it gives me a chance to either pull back or whatever. Did I, did I drop it in? Okay. Good. Well, it didn't mean to actually try to drop it in. Uh, let's do like I always do: group my squadrons, because that is very helpful. It's very, it's a very good way to stay organized. It's just control, pick a or pick a pick a unit, and control and hit a number, and you're you're good to go. Uh, got to do it a few times. Man, all right, stop spawning fighters. No, actually, keep. My fighter's gonna run right. Is it level five? Yep. So this is a level five space station. We're probably gonna encounter Providence, but we have more than enough firepower. I actually didn't expect this. I don't know what what the AI is doing, but you know, I, I'm not gonna complain. They want to leave their planets almost practically undefended. You know, I'm okay with that. All right, let's see. Thank God they added this, by the way. They added a hunt system for the uh, torrent fighters. They were they were cannon fodder in the last mod, in the last version, and everything's a lot smaller. See this? I'm running la lagless almost. Okay, well never mind. But I think I'm gonna really be doing a lot more playing with Republic at War, just for the simple fact that it runs damn near smooth. And I, I think everybody would enjoy that. I mean, Republic of War, like I said, is a really, really fun mod. Alright, so. We're dropping the shield soon. Anytime now. Uh, maybe not. Skywalker and Kenobi. Alright. Guess we might as well call in the backup. The Eclamators are still shit, regardless. Of whatever mod I've played with the that has had the acclimators in them, they've always been shit. They, they, they're, they're the infantry of space, and they will get wrecked. I don't know why they're so bad. Nobody ever legitimately tends to the um, acclimator. Kind of, kind of sucks because they're a really nicely designed ship, and I don't know. I kind of wish they had a little bit more firepower, like in uh, Republic Commando. They took down a, uh, one of those Luckray Hawks, or however you pronounce it. It took it down on its own with their own turbo lasers. And those things are freaking huge. 
I guess anything's possible. Anakin was 10 and he took down one. Uh, let's see. Be mindful, everybody. Words of Mace Windu. Uh, we'll send them to attack that. Trying to give our we'll try to get our vendors to solely focus on the um. Ah, fuck it. Take this down, please. Uh, I don't know what it is about the um beam cannon on these things, but they kind of glitch a little bit. Or in this newer version, they glitch because in the older version of the my I could. See, now it wants to do it, but this one's doing it. Uh, what? Okay. But, whatever, it doesn't matter. They're devastating their ships, and as long as they fire, I guess. But it's still, it's still very annoying when you aim to fire these things, and they don't do anything. But so far, we haven't encountered a Providence. And I, I, I pray we don't encounter a Providence. Because if we do, we are in a bit of trouble. Alright, now they're firing the beam cannons. Okay. Yep, there you go. All of our beam cannons are firing. Always hit the hangar base because I think those are the. I think those even prevent bigger ships from us spawning. Not sure. But I hit them just in case. And our Venator over here is getting wrecked. Uh, I'm going to devote like half our squad. Or some of our fighter squadrons to take down this. Actually, take down this, the fish cruiser. Why do I call it a fish cruiser? Because. It sort of looks like a fish. I don't know. Fish like a design. Alright. We are hauling. Uh, we are overhauling them now. There's nothing they can do at this point, most likely. There you go. That's weird. And that's amazing. He hasn't lost his hunt, even though he's in a nebula. Makes sense. Let me just do some quick little zooming in on the shield generator and hopefully that one bomber squad can be taken out. Not, no. Even if the vendors lose their shields, don't don't panic because these things can take a shit ton of uh, damage. They're 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 the space tank of the Republic, but they still refuse to fire the beam cannons when requested, even at point blank range. <laughs> Yep, yeah, we're, we're, we've won this. Let's see. But they're wrecking our vendor. Okay, maybe the space tank logic was not a... The space tank uh, name was not a good idea. And this buddy ability, the fire all batteries thing. Whew. And that, that fire all batteries does so much damage. It does a lot of damage. Alright, let's get a cutscene going. Or not a cutscene, a movie mode. Yeah, look at all that swarming and flying around and shooting at random things. I would like to know how space combat would be organized. Launch all fighters and do whatever you want. Aim for critical points, that's it. Nothing more detailed than that, I guess. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm getting kind of nervous now. We are losing our Venator. Uh, okay, the beam can is gone. I'm going to send all our bombers over here. And pray we can save it, because I don't really want to... I don't want to lose a Venator this early in the mod, because of the simple fact that you don't get him until you're about tech level 4 or 5. That's right, tech level 4 or 5. Uh, oops. It's a hit 1. What lost the shield? So what? Uh, whatever. Uh, why isn't the station dead yet? Oh boy. We are losing some ground now. We're, we're not going to lose the battle. I'm 100% sure of that, but we're starting to lose like a vital ship, and I, and I really am not up to losing this. And I, I'm not going to lose it, so... If you could fire your main fucking gun at him. Okay, you don't have a main gun, I guess. I don't know. 
Seriously, this thing's not dead yet. All right, got that. Our Venator is, in, is a wreck right now. And this thing came all the way over here just to fuck with it. We're not going to let it win. Wow. You gotta admit, though, the fire animation on the ships is superb. It looks almost like it does in Episode 3. Actually, it looks even better. There we go. But Munificence are space cannon fodder. They they go down quick. They have a lot of guns and a lot of firepower, but you can't win with Munificence unless you swarm with them. Then you're in trouble. But other than that, that's base defense, and if there's only a small number of them. You're not gonna win. All right, we took Hypori's orbit. Good job, good job, clones. All right. I don't really know how long I'm going to record this today. When I feel like I need to stop, I'll stop. There's almost nothing on the ground either. Wow, we're really going to have a lot of fun taking this planet. Construction complete. Why the AI is moving around? It's kind of suspicious. Oh, shit. Uh, oh. Okay. I, I, I kind of lost my cool for a second. I was like, oh boy. I thought we lost something important. But I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, can we? Yes, we can. The ATP. Uh, the ATAP. Who, you, you will not almost. You will almost never need long range artillery. Like, if you spam this. This. Monster. <laughs> that thing is devastating. I want to bet that all of their. I'm I'm 100% sure actually that all of their main infant like main ships are at Geonosis, which means it's gonna be not fun to take. No, they're they're all magnificent cruisers. What is going on? Are they, they move their ships like between these? I don't know. Hmm. I just got to a few. Of I think I'm gonna go for the tech upgrade, which left us with four credits. Uh, what else? anything else? We're actually doing very nice for like the opening stages of this campaign. Uh, on a dam Oh, we can build another refinery. All right, cool. I think we're gonna cancel production of that that one just to get all of our tank units going. And it's going on. Hit mint to hit auto resolve. All right, let's see if we can take Genosis with a squad of stormtroopers, or we can evacuate them. I would like that just as much. Oh, uh, sorry, I was about to take a message. <clears throat> Alright, so what do we got here? Oh, this is a transport from uh, the Clone Wars uh, TV show. I like it. Not TV show, that two series special. But, you know what? We're, we're, we're gonna get them out of here. What the heck? Uh, what? Uh, I just saw. What did I just see? Right. Was that the only one I saw that you could. I could. Um. I don't know, do that thing where they can crouch down or whatever. I just saw the icon for that. Oh, well. Looks like these troopers are going to be saved. Interdictors are really non-existent in this mod. Let's just get out of here. Whee! Alright. We lost the Battle of Geonosis. Because of one squad of troopers. Uh, let's see. I'm not taking Hypori till these are done. 
actually, I should probably see what kind of what we're gonna be dealing with. I can send Yoda down and he can give us like a like a orbital V set of what like what's going on down there. Uh alright. So so far wait, let's check let's check our stats here. I'm very scared to check this. Okay, the Confederacy outnumber us on a ten to one scale and have more planets than us. But I'm not really aware of this. Hmm. I love that music. I don't know if you guys can really hear it or not, but it, sorry about that. Alright. Two of them. Two of them are built. Everything going quite smoothly. Let's get this going. Because Bonadan also has a one of those fineries. Let's see. I think I'm going to wait till my last one is done being built. And I think I'm going to build a couple of climbers. The climbers, even though, like I said, they're garbage ships, they still make a good backbone when you, when you don't have anything. And I've used them on a number of insane defenses from throughout my life playing this mod. I'm considering waiting a number of... Maybe four turns. Save my money for four turns and... Well, are there any objectives for this? Okay. Because some of these maps have objectives, and if you don't meet their deadline, you lose. At the end of each galactic day, your planets will deposit credits into your total pool. I, I just love Star Wars. Like, I love their credit. I just love every I love everything about Star Wars. Star Wars is one of the greatest things to ever come to our world. Even though it is filled with crime lords and drug lords on a whole nother uh, level, Star Wars is something you can't just not live. You can't live without. If you're not a Star Wars fan, I suggest you try to become one. It's very beneficial. Star Wars is golden, man. You can't go wrong with Star with uh, Star Wars. Your commander, uh, clone trooper company. Uh, wait. Is this almost done? All right. <clears throat> don't really know why the AI isn't doing anything, but you know, I don't know if it could be a glitch or it could be the game. Just them waiting in line for an attack or something, but you know what? I'm going to take advantage of this momentary pause and take over everything. Ah, that love music from uh, episode two. Really nice soundtrack. Even though people hated episode two for the love aspect, I personally didn't mind it. It was very uh, relaxing from all the chaotic battles and whatnot that go on. It was actually nice to have like a little bit of a love trail that wasn't just Han and Leia saying I know. No, not that that wasn't a bad thing. Oh, don't get me wrong, but. Like that whole love, like that whole love idea wasn't bad. And Hayden, Hayden was—he may not be the greatest actor, but he wasn't total garbage. We every series needs a whiny character, even though his cartoon version was actually slightly better. But you know, what can you say? He's making money. We really aren't like that. But but uh, oh, they're preparing for attack for an attack. Unless that's just the standard thing that pops up. Other than that, let's get let's get our defenses built up on Tatooine. And I should probably start sending my troops or some troops over to Tatooine. All right, now we're starting to lag slightly, which is kind of bothering me. Uh, game, game, game. Get your shit together. Get your shit together, game. All right. All right, <laughs> only battle droids. All right, this will be easy. What could possibly go wrong? Located in outer rim, Hyporia is a temperate world rich with minerals, but has no intelligent life. After the Battle of Naboo, 
The Republic passed strict laws that severely hampered the manufacture and dis distribution of battle droid armies. In secret, the leaders of the Bactoid Armor Shop, or Workshop sponsored a colonial effort transporting an entire Geonosian hive to Hypori to build a new hidden foundry for the Trade Federation's droid or battle droid armies. Though the tough bedrock and soil proved difficult to assimilate into a true and proper hive mound, the Geonosian workers nonetheless turned the planet into a massive foundry, turning out battle droids in preparation for the Clone Wars to come. So even the Geonosians knew the, battle, uh, knew the Clone Wars was coming. <coughs> Alright. Uh, why I like Yoda. Let's see what we're dealing with. Huh. Oh, that's up. Alright, let's see. I am insulted by this, but, you know, whatever. How many, uh, I have three. So if I land these tanks, that's all we got. Which means, Yoda, you're gonna have to do some jogging, my friend. A little bit faster than that, man. Come on, work those calves. Run. Or something. Whatever the whatever you're doing, I guess it's running. Let's see, what do we got here? We got some TX-130 Saber Tanks. My favorite tank from the Star Wars universe in general. Look at that, it's a really nice tank. I should probably really just stop trying to get that and just focus on this. But, unlike most people who have seen play this game, I, I embrace the use of turrets. They are very helpful in a situation where you don't have, like, any good defenses against infantry or tanks. And so I'm not complaining about turret use. Oh boy, uh, run, go, drive, run them over, do something. Don't sit there like cannon fodder, please. TX-130s, very weak. <laughs> Missiles are good against structures. They're, all, they're, all they're good for are structure killing, basically. Against, uh, no way, that, that's wrong. They're good for taking down other tanks, but against infantry, <sighs> you just saw what happened against infantry. Let's get them up here. Yoda's taking this sweet time. Yes, you are, Yoda. I need you to run. The dark side does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of Herbert from my family guy. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here's a little entertaining video of Yoda running five miles. Oh! Um. Okay, never mind. There are battle droids in this way. Come on, Yoda. Just, just go past that's it. Deflect their blaster shots with your body. Like that. Okay, you're taking all their shots. He can self heal. Okay. I actually think I'm going to keep my TX 130s up here. I don't have Yoda labeled. Strange. Man, there are a lot of droids out here. Alright, let's just handle these right quick. Handle that entire spot. All right, so here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to run them over. Come on, that's it. Stay right on target.
Come on, keep driving. Run them over nice and smooth, like. There we go. When in doubt, run them over. Let's try for another pass. I, I tried this kind of system, like putting them in waypoints, but they will stop at a certain location instead of just keep on going. Which is kind of dumb, but, you know. Alright, we got one. Come on. Can we go for three more? Or maybe all of them. Okay, no, only one. And you stopped. Okay. Keep going. Did I issue a command to stop, trooper? You could. Keep on going. Alright, Yoda. You finally made it, man. Alright. Oh, there's going to be a firefight. Indeed, there is going to be a firefight. There we go. We almost got them all. See, even against two of these things, two droids, they're, they're cannon fodder. Ouch. That's a good way to kill off their troops. Alright, do we have the landing zone? And yes, we do. I'm going to land these. And then... If I land these, that means Yoda's going to run a mile, but you know. Alright, Yoda. Better haul it over there. I don't know why they're so weak against infantry. Like, it makes no sense. Infantry are the weakest form of life in a game. And they should be almost handled easily without, like, question. Mason suggested the Republic of War team. Alright. I'm gonna put you right here. Or not. Alright, right there. And you. Right. Here. Is the land battle speed up or something? Or what? No wonder. Alright. Didn't do much, but, you know. Oh great, they're going for a landing zone. We are going to lose it. Let's see if we can haul it over there. Ah, nuts. God, these, these things are slow. Like, when I say slow, <laughs> I mean just god awful slow. And then they leave, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's bump the speed up because you guys are taking your sweet time. There we go. Good cannon. Very good cannon. Oh boy, um, hmm, um, hmm, go. Uh, don't die. Move around him. Alright, we got them all. Didn't expect us to actually get them all, but we got them all. Yoda is moving a lot faster. Probably because of bump the speed up, but yeah. I got it. Uh, whoa, we have more than enough, actually. Iron. I think I'm going to land some troops, maybe. Oh, wait, wait. Let's get a tactical overview of what's going on. Got it. Alright. Thank you. 
Mm. What do I want to do? Now oh, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna get. Yeah, let's get Anakin down there. He can run a lot quicker than Yoda can. Maybe we should just go around and run their troopers over. I wonder how fast that would, how long that would take. All right, Yoda, go there. Here you are. Indeed. All right, that was a waste. Oh wait, we might we might get them. We might get them. I think we got them. I think that was Anakin basically trying to insult the droid army, saying that apparently he can't mass reduce Jedi skill. All right, we ran them over. Sweet. Alright. This is taking longer than it needs to, and I'm considering just cutting this out, but, you know. That port is a big place. Okay. Don't try. Go. Uh, 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 okay. Run. Move. Go away. You fight them. That was a good shot. You run slower than Yoda. See, unlike their TX-1 or TX-130 friends, these things do damage to infantry in every other unit in the game. They're absolutely devastating. This is exciting. Oh, crap. Uh... Yeah, there we go, there we go. Ah, oh, Obi-Wan, please fight with these droids so we can this. They're a little late, bro. Man, our tanks have seen better days. Alright, we're almost done with our incredibly long um, capture of Hypori. Excuse me for just a second. Sorry. Alright. Alright, let's see. Quick and simple way to take them down. Alright, we're almost done. Almost there, people. Almost. I forgot that trooper or anybody in the presence of a Jedi is in the heel. Seems about as right as possible. But, you know, whatever. Alright. You got some droids, Obi-Wan. Use them wisely. All right, we lost the bill pad. Man. You guys suck. Just run them over. Run them over. Run them over. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ever played chicken with a TX one third? All right, let's capture this landing zone, please. I want this to be over with now. 
All right, let's get let's get the last part. Heavy tanks down here, and let's just find these guys and get this over with, please. All right, Yoda. You could be a bunch of help right now. There they are. Kill them, please. Or you guys kill them. Yes. Do it. Do it. There we go. All right. We did it. Nearly 20 minutes of taking that quarry, and we've done it. Let's see. Because I've already been recorded, recording for a while, and that was 15 more minutes. So we're probably going on about 40 minutes now, maybe 35, 40. But at least we're leaving, the, we're leaving this off on a good start. Oh yeah, so they yeah they increased the ground cap for this mod, so you can get a crap ton more infantry on the ground and tanks. So <coughs> we're gonna get the chancellor over here. We're gonna build this world up, and make it a fortress world. So we basically just gave the Confederacy a big middle finger. I won't keep him there either. Oh my god. Oh. You really have a big income right now. I am like, like, insane. Probably because the AI is building and they're probably just spamming the build battle droids button or something right now. But I think I'm gonna call it a day here. I'm probably gonna record some more of this next week, so I'm trying to really get this back up. Trying to really get my recording back up because I know I've been kind of off with it. I've been doing a lot of uh, school and college work and some stuff with my girlfriend, and I just really haven't had the time. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Jamon Shadow, and um, have a good day.